so this is the definition of a nil matrix a square matrix capital a is called nil matrix if there exists a positive integer m such that a power m equal to 0 so what it means is if you take any square matrix and if you keep on multiplying the matrix with itself at some point you are supposed to get null i mean in case if you get null see it is not a rule that every matrix is going to become null if you keep on multiplying with itself but then if a matrix happens to be null if you keep on multiplying with itself then such a matrix is called null potent matrix okay so uh, see this for example if i have a matrix a then find out a square and find out a cube and find out a power 4 right so so on you keep on doing it at some point if you are going to get you know a null right then then a is called nil potent matrix so a matrix is called nil potent matrix if you keep on multiplying it with itself at some point if this happens to be null then it is called nil potent matrix right so it is not always true that every matrix is nil potent only for some matrices you will get such thing and then the smallest value of uh, you know this uh, m for which a power m is equal to null then it is called as index right index so i'll, I'll just give you some examples see why should I be, why should we talk about the smallest value is if a square is null then obviously a power 4 will also be null the reason is this a power 4 can be written as a square into a square right so then it is going to be a square into uh, a you know uh, sorry null into null which is null if a power a square is null a cube is also null because a cube can be written as a square into a then it is going to be you know null into a which is again going to be null therefore once we get that at some point if you get a null matrix then even if you go ahead and if you multiply with itself it is going to be null matrix itself that is why we are talking about the smallest value of m at which a matrix is going to be null that is called as index of the uh, you know matrix for which it is null so uh, you can take this example see this with, with examples it will be clear if a is this and now we know that a cube equal to null therefore we can say that a is a nil potent matrix of index 3 so if you try to find out a square it is not equal to null therefore index is 3 and if a is this a is this matrix then you can show, we can see that a square is equal to null therefore we can say that you know um, a is a nil potent matrix of index 2 here a is a nil potent matrix of index 3 right so the questions on this will be like they will give you a matrix and then they will ask you what is the index of this nil potent matrix right or if the given matrix is nil potent true or false such questions will be there okay